The center of the European Renaissance movement was in Italy. Over time, however, the ideas and influence of the Italian Renaissance spread to other areas of Europe. The Northern Renaissance refers to Renaissance art, architecture, and philosophy that spread across Northern Europe. Great ideas cannot be contained. This was true even in the 1400s and 1500s. In time, the Italian Renaissance ideas began to influence Northern Europe. Trade and the growth of cities spread the ideas to countries such as France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Spain, and England. Artists from these countries visited Italy's cities to soak up their rebirth of culture at first hand. Powerful rulers in countries like France and England brought Italian artists to their courts. The kings and queens became the artists' patrons and paid them to create works that became a source of national pride. While Northern European artists were inspired by the Italian Renaissance, many put their own spin on artistic styles. For instance, instead of focusing on classical subject, artists of the Northern Renaissance often painted scenes of everyday life. A Flemish artist named Peter Bruegel, the Elder, demonstrated this style. Flemish refers to people from a region called Flanders, which is in present-day Belgium. Bruegel often depicted the lives of peasants with remarkable realism. Another Flemish artist, Jan van Eyck, painted detailed, colorful portraits and images of religious subjects. The rich color in his paintings was largely due to his use of oil paint. Artists of the Italian Renaissance had mostly used water-based paints that often faded quickly. When Italian artists visited Northern Europe, they eagerly adopted Van Eyck's use of oils and brought the style back to Italy. The trade of ideas didn't go in only one direction. In early Renaissance Italy, specialized artisans such as woodworkers, stone carvers, and painters were members of separate guilds, which regulated their activities. Members of the Woodworkers Guild prepared panels for painters. Painters are known to have joined the Woodworkers Guild in order to have the right to carve their own panels. In the Northern Renaissance, painters created an art form called triptych. This is a work of art, usually done on panels, that is divided into three sections or three carved panels that are hinged together and can be folded shut or displayed open. The middle panel is typically the largest and is flanked by two small related works. The German artist Albrecht Dürer is often considered to be the greatest artist of the Northern Renaissance. Dürer had visited Italy and absorbed the styles there. He combined classical ideas, perspective, and great attention to detail to create realistic paintings and woodcuts or images carved on blocks of wood. The Italian Renaissance and its humanist ideas also influenced the intellectual thinking of Northern Europe. The Dutch scholar and priest Desiderius Erasmus was a key humanist leader of the Northern Renaissance. Erasmus focused on making classical works and Christian text more accessible to ordinary people. He also criticized some church practices and called for reform. Another humanist, the English statesman Thomas More, promoted free education for men and women, which was a radical idea at this time. Unlike Erasmus and More, the best known writer of the Northern Renaissance did not try to reform society. This author wrote tragic, comic, and historical plays filled with characters that spring to life off the page. Their passions, humor, personalities, and conflicts still capture our imagination today. Many people believe that the man who created these characters, William Shakespeare, is the greatest writer in the English language.